Hey, look, I wasn't planning to make another one of my update videos. I thought that last one I did, that'd be the last one. Uh, turns out a lot of insane things have happened. And I'm currently out here in the desert in the middle of Albuquerque. I just had to do like a 10 minute briefing about all the different snakes that there are. There are six different kinds of snakes that are here and we are nowhere near any ambulance. So I'm a little scared if you can't tell. To give you some context, I'm currently out in America for the next few months doing my tour and I'm visiting like 30 different American states. Turns out, you know, you little British boy, absolutely not ready for that. So I'm completely delirious upon arriving, getting out the plane. I've seen all these amazing mountains coming down. I'm thinking, wow, America's gonna be amazing. And then I immediately see a crime-fighting dog. It's dog cop when we, when we get arrested by the dog. <laughs> they just have a, a police dog in the airport? Yeah, this place is, is, is absolutely mental. I love American. You asked for a sandwich. In England, a sandwich is, is a sandwich. It's some bread with, with meat in it. And here, I asked for a bacon sandwich. It, it, just, it's a burger. I asked for a, you know, a sausage sandwich. It's a fucking burger. Everything's a burger here. I asked for a carrot, carrot burger. You know, earlier I was wearing a pink hoodie and I went into a shop in Albuquerque. Genuinely thought I was gonna get shot. No. This is a bad place to have any resemblance of gay. I arrive in Seattle, I say goodbye to my girlfriend and my friends, and you know what, it's pretty amazing this first date we're in. We go to this crazy museum with a Minecraft Ender Dragon in, just hanging above us. Now we get taken around. Oh wow, that truck has a house on it. Where am I? We've seen many different places in Seattle. We see amazing waterfalls. You know, I have a really lovely time. We even see Poo Poo Point. I'm at Poo Poo Point. <laughs> so that's a place. It has a photo of Martin Luther King on it. That's probably fine, isn't it? It's going really well. We're about to do the first Seattle show. I've seen this billboard of me outside the hotel every day and it's been really good. So I think, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check online, see what's going on. Turns out, going online, Big mistake. <laughs> that was a cow in the back of that truck. Anyway, that distracted me from the fact that everything is going fucking horribly. I did not love the minute and a half I spent on Twitter. It, it, it depleted all, you know, love I had for this world. It was horrible to find out all of my, fr no, no, come on, you get it. You get what I'm on about. Jesus fucking Christ, everyone, can we? And then look, it's finally time for the shows to begin. And we did this first Seattle show, you know, I'm shitting it beforehand as I always do before I go on stage properly. And we go on and it was amazing. It was just amazing. And seeing all of you lot there, seeing all of you lot coming out, oh my God, telling jokes, hearing you guys laugh instead of you just being fucking behind here. Dude, it was amazing. I feel like we all forget that lit not, what, three years ago, felt like the world was gonna end. It's going pretty well. Aside from the climate change, obviously, and all of the elections and all of the wars. Yeah, aside from that, it's going pretty well. There's something has been going on that's been, you know, let's change up the angle, come on. There is something a little more serious that I want to talk about. Um, you know, kind of the elephant in the room that I have been avoiding since this video started. I, 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 um... Tubbo just keeps hanging out with my girlfriend. Now, if you don't know, Tubbo is currently streaming for three months. You heard that right. He has seen Molly more than I've seen Which, I, you know, is fine. I'm glad that they're becoming friends, you know? There's probably nothing bad about that for me. My husband and my girlfriend bonding. What isn't good is that it's getting a bit weird. Molly was just shopping the other day and Tubbo just found her. No, I don't want to be a Why? Wait, Molly? What the hell? I know I can look and see where you are 24 hours a day, Whoa. but this is a complete coincidence. I, I, Molly's uh, little iPhone was broke. You know, I knew this. Of course I knew it. She shouldn't have smashed it. Tubbo sees this. He buys her a new one. He spends a thousand pounds. That's the mo this is the most expensive gift Molly's gotten, and it wasn't from me. It was from fucking Tubbo. Um, am I getting cooked? Am I? And there's nothing I can do because I'm over here for the next two months doing comedy. I know he's gay and all, but I'm, I'm a bit suspicious. And then something pretty amazing and pretty surreal happened. And uh, I, I met Technoblade's dad. I first saw the video of Techno's dad in the Technoblade announcement video. Sorry, it wasn't like a merchant. The announcement was that he, he was dead. I thought I'd never be able to meet him. And, and then I met Techno's dad and it was possibly one of the most moving days of my entire life. And it is just so 
surreal meeting him, dude. And, and I went around his house. I saw the place that he, uh, all the plans that he had for stuff to do. And I saw where Techno did his 800,000 viewer stream and his setup where he did the whole potato wall. It's such a shit setup. This is a terrible desk and this like grotty keyboard and this shit one monitor setup. Uh, and it was, it was just amazing. You know? Yeah, and so I went around there and I saw where Techno had grown up, the parties he played at, and you know, really spent some time with his dad and we chatted and it was it was just I really couldn't have couldn't be more thankful. Let me just say that uh seeing your dead mate's house didn't exactly put you in the mood to perform that evening. But I did. I pushed Rufa San Francisco. The sort of little tribute we did on stage was was pretty beautiful seeing everyone cheer for Techno. And then you had Techno played. <laughs> And yeah, weirdly, you know, I made this little joke in my last video, you know, about techno, and you lot seem to just love it. You know, all the comments, oh, this is hilarious, you bunch of psychos. You know, it's a bit weird, don't you think? Speaking of weird, it is a bit odd that Technoblade's catchphrase is, Technoblade never dies. Don't you think that's a bit pretentious coming from him? I mean, you know, whenever I do one of those jokes, I then have to run it by Techno's dad. You can just imagine the sad message of me being like, hey, Techno dad, <laughs> another one for you today. Can I? Hear me out. Yeah, and then after that, we went to Los Angeles, the city of shithole. It's a shithole, I hate Los Angeles. And then after that, I went to Phoenix, Arizona, and I saw a Time Dio, come on! Time Dio, with his fucking Midas sword. I mean, that is just brilliant, isn't it? And we did a little stream together, we all. Oh. Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, we had so much fun. But yeah, dude, there are seven more weeks now of uh, this tour, uh, which is kind of insane to think, given this has all happened within about two and a half weeks. Again, thank you guys so much for allowing me to do this sort of thing. And, and you know, I'm really gonna pay you back by putting more effort into my videos, man. It, it, it really does mean the world. And yeah, dude, if you're in America, like go to Tommy.com, get yourself a ticket. People can vouch for it now, because people are starting to see it, but the show is fucking brilliant. We've worked so hard on it, and it's getting funnier each show. So please, go to Tommy.com, get yourself a ticket. We've got so many shows remaining. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do give us a subscribe, leave a like. Oh, I don't fucking know. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Wish me luck. See you soon. <laughs>